All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do a video to show you how to program the CS700. That is the CS700 from ConnectSystems.com. This is not the 750. This is the CS700. It's not the 701. It's also the 701 if you want to do the 701, but it's not the 700A or the 701A. It is just for the 700. 700A, 750. All use different programming software. Okay, that said, first thing you want to do is take a little handy dandy mouse. Basic information, it's right there. Don't give you too much, you ain't got to do too much with that. You can close that box out. General setting first thing you do here is type your call sign, and mine happens to be there. Put in your name, radio ID, back it up, put in your radio ID, which is mine. That's all you need to do there. Close that up, and if you click on it again, bam, it's still there, good to go. Next thing you need to do, and this is the most important first step, you need to get your contacts in there, all your digital contacts. Not all your digital contacts, mainly just the ones you're gonna be using to program the radio. Contacts for individuals are not needed if you don't want them. You need to name your contact. In this case, we're gonna do it on the NCPRN network, which is you know, our network here in the Carolinas. You need to do group call two. Receive tone, yes. You need to add, we're going to add a few of them here. Then you need to add an next, which would be local. And then add that. Talk to everybody. And yes, and all these are going to need to be yes, because when you hear anything on it, this yes will be receive tone which will be basically a currency tone if you got this on anytime somebody keys up on any of these talk groups your radio will be better let you know they're done talking so that is what it is and then we're just going to continue to add all the talk groups until we are done and I did that one wrong it is 310 this is the 8951. And then, oh, we'll just keep going until we get them all added here. Trying to do all this from memory because I've done it so much. So I am bound to make a mistake, I am sure. And then we got to do time slot clear. We'll name this clear time slot so you'll know. And then that one, of course, is 2700. Okay. And so that is all your, you know, important talk groups. And this is, again, with the NC Perian network. This is, this is our talk groups. This is what we have. If you have more, add more. If you want to add contacts, you can go down here and add contact. And I deleted the time slot clear, but we can correct that. And it's just as simple as adding it back. So if you delete it, no big deal, just add it back. If you want to add the contact, you can. And it would just be me. Of course, it would be a private call. And of course, my ID number which is right there. And of course you only this selected to no. If you select yes and I call you, your radio is gonna beep twice. You'll get the you'll get the receive tone um, from me and then you'll get it from the talk group itself. So it'll beep twice. So you want all private calls to be a, a no on the receive tone. Don't need it. So that's done. And if you click on it again, they're there, you know. Next few steps gonna be interesting. Group is this is where you need your group list. Right now we're going to do the Dillon South Carolina repeater. Okay? Just going to name it Dillon SC. You know, all your talk groups are still here now. You don't need echo. You don't need to clear time slot on here unless you want to monitor those. I don't, you know, see no import need to actually have to scan those. Um, but these are already listed here. These are listed here because I added them in the digital contact list. Okay? Next one is the zone. You need a zone. 
we're going to name this one SC. There's no challenge yet. We'll get to that step here in a minute. We got to come back. This is a little repetitive. You got to do a, a little bit here, then a little bit there, and jump back and jump back and forth. So I will name that zone dealing with C. Need a scan list as well. Okay. We'll name it Dylan SC also. Okay. Or we can name it Dylan All. Same way. Again, there's nothing available. We don't have nothing available for that. First channel, we can do it here. This is where everything we just entered. Everything we entered here. This one, this one, this one, all the digital contacts. This is where this comes into play. So you have to add this, you have to add this, you have to add this, and then you have to add this. Once you add those, then you can start adding channels. Until these are here, you won't have everything you need to fill in here. Okay? So if you get there, boom. We're going to do one called Dylan Scan. Again, you can do this any way you want to. Frequency, 443.1625. Receive frequency 448.1625. Omit criteria you want it to be color code. You want this in the auto scan. You want this to be digital. You want the group list. SC, scan list, Dylan all. Okay? And this is just going to be a dummy channel. This is just a receive only channel. It's going to auto scan all the top groups in the zone for Dylan. It's going to scroll everything in here for this. Okay? And now you also see Dylan scan as a channel member okay because that's going to be what it does it's going to scan everything here in the group list and everything here in the scan list it's going to keep those there and that didn't turn out to be the right frequency we changed that and that's about all you need other than setting your timeout timer for three minutes which is 180 seconds and that's about it then you just have to hit add to add another one and then the next one, of course, you always make sure you're on digital. <clears throat> next one I like to add would be Dylan Local. Okay, this is going to be your local talk group. And if I'm going too fast, you can always take the video back, replay it. Okay, when you're here, okay, you need scan list. Dylan All. You want it to show up on your scan list, right? Group list. Dylan SC. Contact name. This is very important. You're, you're programming the local talk group for this repeater. Okay? So when you go here, Dylan Local, you want to select local. Make sure this corresponds to what you're programming. So if you go ahead and you select TAC 310, well then your radio may say Dylan Local, but every time you key up, you're talking on TAC 310. But you don't want to do that on local okay well, that's complete you can always do the timeout timer as well <clears throat> so that's important and then you got here color code one we're using color code one <clears throat> which is you know the admit criteria if you don't have the right color code you won't key up the repeater neither and then you got to remember here the repeater slot in this case, you know, Dylan Local, or the local talk group is on repeater slot one. The only thing we have in our network is on repeater slot two is PRN, which we'll program here right now. And with that said, we'll hit add. And if we want to, we can go right here, click on Dylan Local. We can hit copy, and then we can hit paste. Okay, and what's this gonna do? It's gonna fill everything in for us. Okay, simple, easy. The only thing we gotta do is go rename it to the next talk group, Dylan PRN. Okay, we'll come down here to the contact name. We'll select PRN, which tells the radio to talk on here. Well, PRN now will need to be on repeater slot two because it is the obviously only talk group we have on repeater slot two. <clears throat> so you need that. And then, you know, everything else is set. We're going to add another one. You know, and then we can go back here and just hit paste. It's going to fill everything in. Okay, and the only thing we need to change is back up here. Got to change the name. Dylan. We're going to do TAC 310. Make sure you come to the contact name, say TAC 310. 
Okay. Repeater slot, contact, color code, all stay the same. Their own repeater slot one. And everything else is preset. So it's quick and easy. Okay. Add again. And again, we're just going to click here, channel one. We'll paste it. Boom. It fills everything in. And we're going to do this one here. What? Tack one. We'll go up here, change channel. Dylan. Tack one. Done, right? Again, repeat with lot one. Color code one is still the same. Because the only one that does repeat with lot two is PRN. You won't need another one. You can leave all that the same. Then we'll just do another one. Click here. We'll do paste again. And again, how we did that, we just went to Dylan Local. We hit copy. We go back here. We hit paste. Simple and easy, right? Next one we'll do is DCI Bridge. We'll come up here, change the name. Dylan DCI B B2. Everything is preset already. Since you just copied and pasted. We just do another add channel. And we do paste again. We'll come here, have to do southeast. Where will we name this one? Dylan Southeast. It is added. It is done. Repeater slot color code stay the same. Okay. okay. And scan list, group list, all stay the same. You want that. Okay. And we'll just add a note. And you got to do this. It's repetitive. It's a little time consuming. Then, of course, the next one would be Echo Test, which is an echo. Just a talk group to test your audio. Nothing more. You don't talk to nobody on it. You just ID something like k 4 kj Echo Test, unkey your radio, and your radio will repeat back to you exactly how the repeater heard you. So this is a good function to have because you can test your radio without having to get on PRN or local and ask for a radio test. You can do it by yourself. And again, pretty much standard color code repeater slot stays the same. Then you need to add another repeater. Again, highlight it over here, paste it. Okay, what's next? Clear time slot. Clear time slot should be your last one. And then we just do Dylan time slot clear. Okay? And that should be it. And then if you, you know, once you get clear time slot, that should be it. The repeater should be programmed. For anything that's on the North Carolina Piedmont repeater network, that's the NCPRN network. Okay, that's for South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Tennessee. Now, West Virginia, Tennessee, they're similar. They're, they're, they're branching off. They may be a little different. Um, but definitely for Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, this would be the, the way to do it. Unless, for, say, for some reason, they have something different. You'd have to check with the, uh, the NCPRN group to find out if there's anything different. But that's basically it. You, you basically just program the repeater. The only thing you have to do after here is just basically go back to Dylan All. Make sure all your talk groups that you want to scan are in that list. Okay. If you remember back when we created this list, there was nothing to, you know, select. After we did the channels, now we can go back and select them. You don't need echo test or time slot clear on the scan list. You don't really need to scan those because again, echo is just for testing your audio and. And of course, the time slot clear is just to clear the time slot. Say so if you connect to TAC 310, TAC 1, D South, Southeast, and you're done using that talk group, you would go to time slot clear, key your radio one time, it clears the time slot, puts it back in the local um, chatting, and won't interfere with anybody talking on local. <clears throat> and with that done, we'll go back over to, we can close these out, we can go back to zone, make sure everything's in your zone. Okay? This is very important. And all these need to be in your zone. And the reason being is this zone is what you're going to use with your radio. You're going to select different zones. A zone is basically a repeater. You're selecting a repeater. Okay? Um, so when you cut your CSI 700 radio on, um, you need to select your zone. 
and in this case you're going to select the zone of Dylan at C. Once you select it, it's going to tell the radio which top grips you have and which ones to scan and all that. Of course you got to go back to your RX list as well. That should be already complete with no trouble there. Um, and then other than that it's basically just adding more repeaters. And for each repeater you add, you got to have a digital RX group call you got to have a different zone. You got to have a different scan list. And of course, when you get down here, you just add more channels. Simple enough? Can't be any simpler than that. I don't even know how to explain it even more simpler than that. Hope the video helps. Again, if I went too fast, I do apologize for going too fast. Um, I've done this a thousand times, if not more. Um, for various hams, for various people. Um, if you if you're converting over to a CS750, um, do so. We have. I am currently building a code plug for the CS750 um, for the North Carolina PRN network. So if you need one, um, let me know. Again, my call sign is K4KNJ, which is Kilo Four Kilo November Juliet. You can find me anywhere on the internet just look me up on QRZ all my contact information is over there again simple version of programming the CS700 if you need any more info um, send me an email again QRZ.com all my information is there contact me and let me know but then hope the video helped and uh, we'll catch you later